All right, so I'm sure not everyone's sitting around with a notepad and making all the settings and making sure to put down what they originally were. And so if you end up screwing it up, here's how you do a reset. So normally you go into settings by pushing these two buttons at the same time, right? And this right here would be the menu button, as in like it switches through like your different um, metrics. So you hold down this button first and then this button. And then it does this. That is D E F. That means default. So I went to yes by pressing up. And then I press this button. It would reset all my settings. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back to no. And then press this button. See, so my, 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 my trip and everything is still where it was for today. And everything is still normal. Forget how my... Yeah. <laughs> when you mess with your settings, sometimes your stuff gets all weird. Yeah, but yeah, that's why you would have your um, default settings reset. So yeah, so you pretty much just hold down this button and this one. And the reason why um, I say to hold down this button first and not this one first is because if you push this button down first, you're going to enable the walk mode and suddenly your bike's on a jolt forward. So instead, you just hold down this button first and then you hold down this button. And it might take a few, you might take a few tries, like the delay between the two. So click, click. Yeah, but just always like this, click, click. So I did. Whoa, when I did it, it just changed the way it looked to that. That was weird. I hope I didn't just reset all my settings. But anyway. That's how you do it. So, click, click. Click, click, hold. There, see? And yes, and then click the top button here. I don't wanna do it, so I'm not gonna do it. But that's what default means. So to exit it, leave it on N, and push the top button again. And you're back out. All right, thanks.